So, my name's Joanna Rebay. I'm a showbiz and entertainment journalist. I currently work for the BBC and Closer magazine. I also run Shine Media, which is a social enterprise business that looks after young people from culturally diverse backgrounds. So, we look after two groups, that's 14 years to 17 year olds and 18 to 30 year olds. We specify in um, journalism training, uh, professional qualifications in journalism training and, uh, and recruitment. But we also look at other areas of creative and media industries. I would say that from the experience I've had being a young person and going through a number of internships, traineeships, a degree, a master's, and then being on the other side and running a business where I'm catering to someone that was like myself um, a couple of years ago, if you like. Um, I think there's a couple of things that we need to really concentrate on when it comes to helping young people. And I think I agree that um, it's not necessarily that they have a bad reputation. I think more and more I'm being more and more impressed by the young people that I, I meet and I engage with. So I do think we need to give them um, a lot of credit there because a lot of young people doing really, really amazing things. But um, I would say my three tips, if you like, into how we can help young people is Confidence is a huge factor, uh, I know that's already been mentioned, but confidence usually comes from um, knowing what you're doing, so the know-how and an education, so having an authority over what it is that you do. I think it's really important that we train young people um, through professional avenues in the areas that they have passions so that they become confident of what they do because they know that they can do it by a standard at which the industry is also expecting them. To, to be able to, to do something. I think that if somebody goes through a course, whatever it is, this could be a photography course, this could be something to do with banking, anything that you have an interest in. If you can give yourself some real training in that, even if it's not via a, a traditional academic course, maybe it's from a mentor that's in a position uh, that you, you, would love to, you would love to fill one day. Using that um, resource to really hone your own skills and knowledge would give you the confidence when you go into a room or into an environment that's a work situation and be confident in your own ideas and abilities. Um, I also think that understanding the role that your reputation plays. So often, for example, um, for me, I may have someone that comes into Closer or the BBC and they want to do work experience and we're very much what I, especially obviously because of my um, ambitions with Shine Media, I'm very keen to hone new talent and really push them. But often if they come into a situation where they feel intimidated by those around them, you're not going to see the best out of that young person. You're also, if they're not aware of exactly what it is they want to do, so they may come into um, a Closer magazine because they think they're going to meet some celebrities, not because they want to be a journalist or not because they really want to learn how to write well or how to um, become a successful reporter. Often it is the sexier side of a job that is what attracts a young person. What, what they need to know is actually what it would um, require to do that job very well um, and what it is that would impress a, uh, an editor. So that's why I say understand your reputation because if you come in and you realise you're not going to interview celebrities, you should still have a massive smile on your face um, because there may be another area in that business where your skills are better met and, and better suited and it would take me to say to say someone in the marketing department, I've got a bright young girl down here who's been doing um, some work experience with us. She's been brilliant, but she's really a lot more interested in marketing. Had she sat there and had the grunt because she wasn't going to meet a celebrity, I wouldn't necessarily have offered her that. So her, under her or he understanding that your reputation is, is what's held by others. So you really do need to understand if you go into a situation, even if it's not your dream situation, that you present yourself in the best way that you possibly can. Um, I would also say, and this has been my last point, kind of being taught life skills. And I know this sounds really patronising, but um, I've had to learn the hard way, as have I'm sure lots of people, you know, about being late for things. Um, it's, an, it's just a big no-no. I know in school or in your college you may get told off a little bit by your lecturers, but in the workplace it's just a no, it's just, it's just unacceptable. So I think learning life skills like that, also being aware of authority when you're in, in the work situation and knowing what it is that your employer is actually expecting from you when you come in and, and this, this ability to acknowledge that you are, if you are going into a situation of employment, you are an employee, therefore your time within that business should solely be to enhance it, the team you're on and the bigger picture. So I would say, yeah, they're my three things that I think we could help young people to do better.